Hey folks, Nick Harrington here. I want to talk a little bit about line properties when it comes to trolling crankbaits and trolling crawler harnesses like we are right now. So, right, you've kind of got two options for trolling, right? So you've got monofilament or you've got lead core line. Those are kind of the two most most common lines that folks pull, pull trolling, whether it's a crankbait or whether it's a crawler harness with. Uh, both have their pros and cons. So. I have just switched from my leg core setups. I've got my leg core setups laying on the gunnels here, and now I've got my, my mono setups out because I've switched to a crower harness presentation from crankbaits. And it might be easy to ask, well, why would you switch? Why don't you just use the same rods? Why do you have to have the why do you have to have two different sets of rods? And the big reason is when you when you're trolling crankbaits, I always use leg core because of the properties of leg core. It's, it's going to be that it's literally what it sounds like. It's lead right in the middle, basically surrounded by one of those super lines. And then it's going to slowly sink because of that lead core. So when you speed up, that's going to lift it up. But when you slow down, it's going to slowly sink. So when I'm trolling crankbaits, I'm utilizing the bill of the crankbait to get me to, to, to my depth, but also the lead core itself. So that's how I get to really hone in my numbers on that front. Again, if you're using a deep diving crankbait, that's no problem. You could do that with, with monofilament. If you have a bait that runs to 20 feet and you're fishing 20 feet, that's perfect. But if you have a bait that, you know, maybe it's a number four shad wrap or a number five shad wrap and it doesn't dive to 20 feet, you have to use leg core. So I just like to know my numbers when it comes to leg core. Now, monofilament, this is where I'm not using any of the weight of the crawler harness to get it down. I'm using literally a two ounce bottom bouncer or a three ounce bottom bouncer. So for that, I do want mono. I do want those no stretch properties. Leg core would, would not pan out very well for tro trolling crawler harnesses because they have no additional weight that's gonna get them down. Um, that's why I just put those bouncers on and I let them sink right down and, and then I run my depths based off of that. Um, leg core or leg core again gonna sink monofilament it's gonna float it's naturally gonna float so unless you're truly putting out a bait that's going to dive itself down again whether that's a deep diving crankbait or in this case literally a chunk of lead um not in leg core but in truly bottom bouncer form that's that's going to be what gets your bait down so that's why i kind of vary my baits again i just have more confidence when i'm trolling crankbaits on leg core i know my numbers based on what that particular bait is i like how it kind of sinks in the water and it gets me to my depths and then when it comes to crawler harnesses that's when i switch to monofilament setups again if i was fishing really shallow water i could fish mono with these rods um, that's just not how i prefer to fish but that would be an option um, but that's just kind of the, the two main main thought processes when it comes to selecting what line you're going to use in a trolling application based on what baits you're going to use and, and the depths they're going to be at. Good fishing.